so Ian Wilson will take the corner aiming for that area Alan Young, hands on hips around about the near post and lining up on the far post Larry May and now O'Neill coming more into the centre, good one, goal no, unbelievable still there, off the goal a second time, and over the top from Young unbelievable well Leicester had the scoring of three now that's where Young went up and that's where he went down holding the back of his head clash of heads with Stevie Powell and I should think he's completely unconscious he hasn't moved he's a bit white faced ball charged down drops to Lineker Young through the middle Melrose to his right goes for Melrose aiming for Young ball down for Lineker who's playing centre-half. Six Paul is off. He's the bloke who brings Lineker down. And referee Derek Lloyd is totally certain of the rightness of his decision. So we've got Steve Lennox. Score of two penalties in uh, five goals this season. Lennox. one nothing Leicester. 25 minutes of the second half gone and Steve Linex sent Banovic the wrong way sent the Leicester fans chanting and dancing and here we can see Banovic goes right no, Banovic guessed the right way indeed he went the right way but he couldn't make contact with the ball touch for Wilson exploding his way in oh we'll find save but Epson is going to score the equaliser Paul Epson and the entire team rush to him look up as Leicester set up to take their fifth corner Ian Wilson Larry May up this drops then oh yes superb goal his lead out. Derby thought that they had at least a point out of it. After Ampson scored, Linex, the man who beat Banovic from the penalty spot, Banovic saved a penalty during the week at Rotherham, but he had no chance with that Linex one. But the match winner, Gary Lineker, five minutes from time to put a final scoreline up there, which says Leicester 2, Derby 1.